What's up? It's your boy Octane, and today's video is on the legend Octane. My main, my boy. There's my stats for Octane, and Octane's abilities, his passive is Swift Men. While not taking damage, he heals. His stem is pretty self-explanatory. You stem and get 30% movement speed, but sprinting, you get 60% for x amount of time but you lose 20 percent health now octane the first thing i'm gonna say about octane he's one of my favorite legends because this is a fast paced game and he's a fast legend he's good at pushing he's good at getting out of the push everything so octane the main thing you want to remember is you want to get fluid with him you want to get movement very good movement down on octane if you want to main him like okay say for instance you want to be looking for any kind of inclines always in a fight without a fight i mean it's similar you, you could apply that what i'm saying now to any legend you, you want to look for it, it just works better with octane like you want to look for inclines like that hill right in front of me um, you want to look for anything downhill, any kind of incline, so you can you can slide and move and just fast. <clears throat> now, weapon choices. Let's go with that next. Okay, so weapon choices are I would I always rock a mid range and then something close range that can wreck. So if I want to push or need to push like stem and push, I can drop them fast and get the hell out of there. There's no other way to put that part. So, like, 301 would be a good option. I like the Havoc, and I'm starting to get into the Devotion. I love that. But it kind of needs a Turbocharger, because that ramp up, you can get screwed by that. Now, you'll see the gameplay and see what I mean by the Fluid. We engage in a ton of people over at Train Yard. And we almost make it out of there, but then two more groups are in the tunnel, like to the tunnel to the uh, left and then uh, to the right of us by the vault. But you'll see. So next thing, jump pad. Okay. Well, wait, wait, let me go back to stems. Stemming in to throw some damage is great, but you're going to have to practice it, especially with the 20 minus 20 damage every time you stem. Because you, it, it's a win, it's a big win situation or a big lose situation if you push while stemming. You can you, once I'd say practice it. Then once you're good at it, then you can take it into battle royale and definitely not. You know, if you're doing it at rank, be very careful. So you see the arc star. I'm like use a stem. Like, you got, you got to get second nature on that stem and jump pad. I personally, going to the jump pad now, talking about the jump pad, I like throwing the jump pad in the middle of a fight and using it to, to push for damage or to knock someone down or to push out to heal. Or if a teammate gets knocked, of course, the good old always use thing, they crawl into the jump pad and go somewhere safe with cover and then... They're good to go. But see how I see I used the I threw the jump pad down, I used it to back off, and then I also used it to push. See? You can hit fire like I do, but it takes practice. I'm still you know learning a little bit. Um, but if you have time, I would aim down sights and shoot, because I would have knocked that guy a lot sooner. But if you feel like running it, like we ran into that group, those groups, we killed them, and then we're like, all right, cool, we're going to train yard because we heard people over there firing. You can't hear it right now because I turn, I turn off the sound when I talk so you can understand me and hear me. So we go for that. Now I'm like, all right, let's go. You know, and always make sure if you got an octane on your team, you're not an octane. Make sure you're using the jump pad. Like he throws it down for a reason, most likely, unless you got a really dumb teammate, which happens. But these guys were smart. I had to go back for those arrows because I had just picked up a bow. Next thing. As an Octane, 
personally, this is a tip that I don't think really anybody, nobody touches base with. Me as an Octane man, I make sure when I go to get in a fight, I know where all the people are. Because you're going to be stemming in or out or, you know, jump padding in or out. And you need to know where these people are at so you don't land right in front of them or stem right into them with low health, low shields. Like, there's so many ways you can play Octane. The more you play with a Legend, this works for anyone. The more you play with a Legend, the more fluid you become with them. So it's good to pick a main. So what you want to do is, personally, I this is why I wanted to get into these videos, because I got characters up to like 100 kills, and after that I seemed pretty fluid with them, and then I started getting them more kills and more kills, because when I got to Octane up to 4,000 kills, it was like, whoa, this feels fantastic. So, it's good to pick the main. And then, lastly, like I said, just use the jump pad smart. Play with it a little bit. Try it in arena, duos, whatever. I mean, preferably arena, you got to buy it, so it's you can't really practice that much of that abilities. But you can definitely practice your weapons in there. But yeah, just I would say go into duos or even just, you know, who cares about winning if you're practicing, you know, trying to main a legend, see which one you want, see how they flow and stuff. And also, the jump pad, you slide into it and you go far away, right? Well, you've seen me there. I, I walked into it, so I go straight up. I had a little bit of slide there when I moved into that. I go far away. See, look, take cover, heal up. He's very versatile. See, look, the other guy jump padded over there to the left so so we could get at him so he's away from the fight. I actually pick him up here. We kept doing that. There's like five squads on us right now. You know how training you're on. It's still the same, even though World's Edge has gone, been gone for a long time. It ain't changed, and neither is Train Yard. There's one above us. See, look at them good pings. Make sure you're always pinging for your teammates, man. I wouldn't have noticed that guy up there because I was I just got it over there, and he wasn't firing. But that's pretty much it. Basically, the main facts of this video, the cliff notes, you got to be fluid movement-wise with Octane because he's a movement-based legend. Secondly, you got to get fluid with the jump pad. You got to play around with it. No little tricks. You'll figure out crazy tricks. If you find some new ones, let me know. I'm down to listen. If you have any other questions or comments about Octane, drop a comment down below. Please like and subscribe. Maybe share with a friend that was trying to main Octane. Need a quick tips on it. And uh, enjoy the rest of the gameplay. It's not, actually, the rest of the gameplay isn't that much because I remember this part. But, um, yeah, try Octane out. And uh, I'll see y'all in the next one. Octane out. Be safe out there, legends. Down, down. Next ring's far. Not for me, but there for you. Found one. Hostile right here. Hostile, we should go here.